Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Uh, my name is Mark Love, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new unit. Now, this is a pre ordered unit for a customer, so it's not available, but the Superstar 3727 is just a great floor plan. Uh, we don't get these in often enough. We want to show everyone we get. So, today we're going to walk around this 2022. Uh, Superstar 3727. Let's just go ahead and get started right away. Uh, first off, one of the nice things about the Superstar, any of these Freightliner Class C uh, Super C's, if you like working on the engine yourself or changing your own oil, checking your own fluids, it makes it so easy with the front engine. You can see you can access your fluids, that's your uh, uh, windshield wiper fluid. You've got your air filter here, your coolant, everything very accessible to, to reach. You have a gauge right here. This will tell you when the air filter is starting to get dirty. So uh, as this kind of creeps up, let you know it's probably time to change that air filter. As we look over here on the other side, Again, very easy to access. You can even step right in here and work on it. Uh, check your oil here. Uh, we've got our power steering fluid, our water separator. And, uh, you know, as far as some of the common maintenance that it needs to be, needs to be done, Freightliner recommends a one, a two, and a three year. And what that is, every year, they recommend you change your oil and your oil filter. Every two years, they recommend you change your air filter. And every three years, you ch uh, change the filter for your water separator. So that's kind of the, the routine maintenance on these Freightliner chassis. And then another great thing about this hood, it's pretty heavy, and if your head's under there and the wind comes up, it could give you a pretty good knock. But there are struts on it that dampen it as it comes down, so it's not gonna fall down hard on you or slam down and do any damage. Let's go ahead and get it locked down, and then we'll walk around the outside. Uh, one thing I'll point out as we go by, you notice a camera right here. That tells me this has the OmniView 360 surround system, and I'll demonstrate that when we get inside. First of all, I guess I didn't mention it, but the new 8.9 liter Cummins is a 360 horse in the Superstar. Uh, last year it was a 350 horse, and that's got 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. This is a 40,000 GVWR chassis with 20,000 pounds of towing. And I believe it's around 32,000 pounds empty. So you have somewhere between 7,500, 8,000 pound cargo capacity. But the 20,000 pound towing is what really makes these superstars uh, worth their money. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. First of all, you can see we've got the dual Girard awnings overhead and just a great look. They cover the whole side of the coach, but this coach also has the manual window awnings. Sometimes, you know, if you don't want to put your awning out, still want a little shade when you're sitting at the table, just pull down your window awnings there. Okay, as we walk down the, the passenger side, again, we've got uh, cameras on both sides, cameras on front, cameras on the back. You get the 360 picture inside. Here is your fuel fill. You do have fuel fills on both sides of the coach. As we look in these first couple compartments, uh, primarily storage area. And you can see they're nice felt lined, uh, nicely finished. Heavy duty piano hinges run the full length. We have a inch and a half thick uh, insulated compartment door. So this really is made for all weather conditions. That hose you see in there in the plastic bag is uh, an air hose. You have a compressor on board and they provide a quick connect so you can fill your tires or your recreational vehicles or whatever you might need to use it for. Nice three-step system as you go in and out of the coach. Over here we've got another small 
uh, compartment. And one thing you notice, these LED lights come on for all your compartments when you open the door. Kind of a nice feature. And then behind here, we obviously have our water tank. You can see the low point uh, drain down there for your water tank. A lot of people will uh, hang little hooks here, maybe put tools or, or find a way to use this pegboard area. One of the unique things about the Numar and what they do with their chassis, first of all, it is a four airbag system. So the front and the back are kind of separated. They move independently. But it's also one of the only Super C's that allows you some pass-through storage space. And as you can see back here, we do have a, a pull-out tray. And these are our, our vacuum uh, hoses and components here. Another thing that you can actually see here, um, I've talked uh, about Numar and their, their motto or slogan and how they build things when you know the difference is sort of uh, their catchphrase. And you can see back here, they even use their star foundation, these beams here on their super C's. The thing about the star foundation is it lifts the floor joists up off the main chassis rails, as you can see in there. So as you're going down the road and hitting potholes or on uneven roads, you don't get as much twisting and tweaking. You're not popping your tile and you know having the grout crack on you. So it's, it's just a stronger platform, which makes for a smoother ride all the way around. Also, if you look in here, you can see the, the uh, two and a half inch insert that'll reduce it to a two inch. There's your tow ball, again, rated at uh, 20,000 pounds. And I like this feature. I pull this knob here and the back opens up and it just allows you more access to storage back here. You can see you've got a tray up above. Got a couple of uh, shelves here that you know, tools, oil, whatever you're going to use it for. They're just handy to have that storage. And then as we look down here, you can see we've got the two and a half inch receiver. This is a heavy duty receiver. And, and the reason these are built for towing heavy loads, while they're so much nicer than say a diesel pusher, when you have the engine over the front tires, you have better steering, your radiators up front, you have better cooling. When you're going to tow a stacker trailer or a six horse trailer going to the rodeo, you've got a lot of weight back here and you need something heavy duty. These Super C's are really ideal for people that are going to be doing a lot of towing. You do give up some living compartment compared to a Class A because of that front engine compartment, but the safety and the familiarity of driving a big truck kind of makes up for that. Also, back here we have uh, our seven-way plug, and we have a, a, a plug here if you have another camera. Let's say you're towing a stacker trailer, and you want to put a camera on the back of that. You can tie that into the dash up front. Nice looking cap, too. Finally getting a little more summer-like here in Colorado, thankfully. Let's take a look at the back, and again, you can see that pass-through compartment. And then over in this compartment we have our Oasis hydronic heating system. Now the hydronic heating system uh, burns the diesel that's in your fuel tank so they're great if you're camping off the grid you're not going to run out of propane or something like that. But one of the beauties of the Oasis, well a couple of them, Number one, they burn cleaner. They're a little bit quieter. You don't have as much exhaust fumes as you would with the Aqua Hot. And that's one of the reasons Numar uses them. But also, these have dual electric heat elements in it and then a single diesel, where your other hydronic units only have one electric and one diesel. What that means is if you're camped somewhere and it's starting to get below 50, below 40, you can probably heat yours with electric where uh, another coach is probably going to have to start burning their diesel fuel to keep warm in there. We move up here. 
you do have a just a little storage compartment here uh, you know uh, you can put your sewer hose in there or again gloves oil nice LED lights on the side too and then right here is our main water compartment so excuse me I'm gonna pass in front of you there so a couple of nice features number one electric dump valves you do have your auto fill and your manual fill for your water as you can see there is a whole house filter here black tank sewage rinse these are your hot and cold lines uh, so when it's time to winterize it these are your low point drains you can turn your water pump on right here so you're not having to run back into the coach of course we get an outside shower and then we do have a winterization kit you can see there's antifreeze in there makes it very fast and easy when it comes time to winterize it and uh, again your, uh, your uh, water hose here is on a power reel kind of a nice feature it makes it a lot easier to roll it up very you know good looking clean uh, water compartment very well done Here, we've got our hydraulics uh, for your levelers there. And then on the left, we have the uh, eight AGM batteries. And you can see they're both on slide out trays. There's pins there to keep them in while you're traveling. But you can pull those out when you're working on them. Gives you all the power you're gonna need if you wanna, again, camp off the grid and you know, run your inverter sometimes for your microwave or other things. You've got plenty of battery power. Then when you do need to charge it up, you get your 8K diesel generator. And this, of course, burns the fuel from the fuel tank so you can stay out longer. And then one more compartment here. You can see we've got our 50 amp power cord again on the, the power reel and then our inverter over here on the right side. Now, one thing about these calves, if you're not real tall, it's a pretty good step getting up in here. But they give you some heavy duty grab handles, makes it easy to access the cab. And then uh, while I have the keys right here, I'll open this for you and This is your fuel fill. You have one on each side. However, this chassis only has your DEF on this side. Uh, you know, it is, there is a, a line that connects the two tanks, but you can fill from both sides when you're putting the 100 gallons of fuel in there. It makes it much faster. Excuse me, 150 on this one. And then one last thing I'll point out. Your battery disconnects right here. One of the biggest problems people have their batteries run down or they forget to shut them off. Right here is your chassis battery disconnect. So as you get out of your coach, uh, you know, going to shut it off, always remember to shut these batteries off. As you can see, you do have an air ride seat and uh, that runs off your compressor. Heated, uh, very comfortable seat. And one of the things that I spoke about earlier, right here, if you take a look between the house and the cab, they're actually not hard connected there's a baffle system inside and Numar is the only company that has figured out a way to keep the air ride suspension in the front and the back so the two the cab and the and the coach kind of move independently and when you're driving down the road if you put one foot in the cab and one in the coach you can actually feel that difference but you can kind of see right here is where they come together all right let's go around and check out the inside As we walk in the door here, the first thing I'm going to show you, uh, 
your main control panel is up here and this actually has a step cover and I like this feature uh, especially if you have pets or kids or somebody walking around but you're just not worried about falling down into that step well. Well here we've got uh, like I say most of our control panels uh, here's our monitors for our tanks and batteries uh, we can go to our HVAC and again I had the generator running earlier to to run our air conditioner uh, you do all that right here if I want to uh, let's see switch to heat uh, I just switch my mode and can go back into the settings uh, also I've got an auto gen start here with the AGS uh, I can have it come on when the batteries get down to maybe 12.1 volts. Maybe I want to set it uh, when the temperature hits 75. So the generator comes on and the air conditioner is going to start automatically. Really a nice handy feature here. Uh, this here is the controls for your awning and your Gerard uh, rooftop awnings are actually 110 power. So I've got the inverter on right now. This is your inverter up here. Uh, provides the 110 power uh, for the awnings. You can also run the microwave and a lot of your 110 appliances off your batteries. Got the WineGuard uh, satellite system here. This is just kind of a monitor to tell you what your load is and what you're running on. Here is our Oasis system and as you can see I've got two electric elements right there. Uh, if it's really cold and I pull up someplace and want to heat it up in a hurry, I'm going to turn the diesel burner on, I'm going to turn the electric uh, elements on uh, dual, and once it's heated up, you might be able to turn that uh, diesel off and just run on electric at that point. Uh, HWH levelers here, fully automatic levelers. And then you've got your switches here, security lights outside. The step is so that step doesn't keep running in and out. Uh, your entry locks, step cover, block heater, everything right here, very convenient when you come in the door. Okay, let's, let's move up front and talk about the cab a little bit. Uh, I like the way Numar has stepped up their cab. It's, it's much better looking, uh, nice, comfortable leather seats. Um, when we were outside, I was talking about our camera system. And one thing about this, uh, that's the horizon view, they call it. As I'm going down the road, we've got three different views for our backup monitor here. And if I want to look at my hitch, I'm looking straight down that back cap. So as I'm pulling into a trailer, I can see it. But as you're going down the road, you're probably going to leave it on this uh, mode. But we also have our 360 camera. So if you look right here, that's the top of the coach. Now we've got cameras on both sides, one in the front, one in the back, that kind of impose this image here. And you also still get the, uh, the uh, rear view on that. And then uh, again, from here I can look at my left side, look at my right side, whatever you want. We also have navigation here. And uh, you know, Everybody has it on their phone now, but it's it's handy to have it right here in front of you. And then as you go through the menu, you got your radio, media center, and so forth. Very handy to use right here. Uh, also, we've got our uh, uh, suspension override here. And you're, uh, before you level, you probably want to dump your airbags. That way you get more travel in your levelers. You do that right here. Uh, right there is our, well, let me see, that is the, reg uh, not the regen, I don't know if you can lock the rear axle, I don't believe you can, I'm going to have to find out exactly what this does. Uh, this camera would be for your uh, backup, uh, or your camera on say a stacker trailer, your auxiliary, uh, shades up, shades down, uh, that's your ride height, and then house battery, this is your regen here for your diesel emission system, generator start, cab ceiling lights, and so forth. So everything's right here, easy to access. Uh, cruise control over here on the left. This is a tilt and telescope wheel. 
six-speed Allison transmission, and again, 20,000 pound towing on this. As we look in the overhead, we've got some really nice storage all the way around here. There's two compartments on each side of the cab. You have three storage compartments here. And then you get a couple more on this side. One of the things uh, I like to point out, there's a, a sticker in here and it's got some important phone numbers. Uh, if you need to get a hold of Numar, it tells you where to call or where to go online. You can sign up for Noogle once you're an owner. That's sort of like a Google search for all of your systems on this Numar and you can talk directly to one of their support specialists. While we're here, this is that baffle system I was talking about. This is what kind of weather seals the cab from the coach. But if you were to stand like this while you're driving, you can actually uh, feel them move independently. It just creates a more comfortable driving situation. Okay, over here on the passenger side, got a few storage compartments, a uh, place for your video components there. This one does have a dinette that converts to a sleeper. Just pop that down. You, you lift these up, it rests on the cleats. And then there's a cushion in the back to fill in uh, your table here. And there's, have some storage underneath. Across from your dinette, you have your theater seating. Now, I, these are, are electric rockers and they work on 110, but I do have my inverter on, so I've got power to that. And then right here's my switch for my televator. And there we go. You can see the TV popping up. So just a great place to watch TV. This model being a 3727, it's, it's a little bit under 38 feet long, like 37 feet 10 inches. So it's a fairly short uh, motorhome, but with this full wall slide and you know the, the dinette slide and one in the bedroom, it gives you a lot more room than you would imagine in a 37 footer. So we move down here to the kitchen. Well, let's show you the uh, the overhead storage here. Now we've got a, a cover there for your privacy screen. And over here we have our owner's manuals and warranties. I love the, uh, the hidden hinges, the nice hardware. This is the Belmont decor, by the way. Over here in the kitchen we get A little bit more storage overhead. We have a nice stainless steel double sink. And this is a deep sink and you get the residential style sprayer with it. Nice little countertop extension here to flip up. And then more storage underneath. They even provide a wastebasket for you there. Here we've got nice full pull-out drawers. And every one of these is a soft closed drawer. We do have a microwave. Now the micro, or excuse me, dishwasher. Uh, the dishwasher, you need your generator on. It won't run the 110 off your inverter. Just draws too much power. But nice dishwasher here. Huge silverware drawer. And then over on this side, we have our induction cook surface. And uh, this stove actually can be lifted out. You can unplug it. Take it outside under your awning and, and use it out there if you want to. You've also got 
some nice cutting boards on the other side of this. We do get a convection microwave. Over here we've got a, a full-size residential refrigerator. Now this one just came in and we haven't completely unpacked it yet and done all of our prep and cleaning, but these are how they arrive to us. Plenty of room there in the freezer. And then across from your refrigerator we have the half bath. I'm going to step in here and open up a couple of things and then get out of the way. I'll step back in the shower here and let Jody show you what we've got for storage. You've got your 110 breakers there, our 12 volt fuses over beside it, everything is labeled. You've got a nice large medicine cabinet here. You can see some of our satellite components. This coach also comes equipped with a Wi Fi Ranger. Oops. And then I wanted to stand in here to show you how much room you've got in the shower. Uh, you know, I'm about 5'8", but I'd say if you're 6'3", six, 6'4", six, you still have plenty of room here. Very nice, uh, you know, uh, surround shower. Let me step out of here and close these up. Under your sink, you have some more storage here. And then you get another drawer compartment here. Lots of storage for a small bathroom. And this is kind of a unique hinge on the door if you notice how it pivots here in the middle. And the reason they do that is when your full wall slide comes in, a traditional door that would hinge from here, you'd only be able to open it maybe halfway. This way it'll open up all the way and it makes it easier to get into. Stepping back here into the bedroom, first of all we've got a pantry right beside the refrigerator Oops. and they've got a nice positive locking system there back here we've got some more storage overhead and again the the compartment with the glass on it typically is for your video components same back here Samsung, I think this is a 39 inch TV in this one. And then we've got some very deep drawers here. So, those six, you can put a lot of things in there. Pardon me for that phone. <laughs> Let me shut that off. Under the bed here, we've got some more storage. And then if you notice on both sides of the bed, you've got a pedestal. And under the pedestal, you've got a 110 outlet and you've got some USB ports, a little bit of storage down here also. So if you've got a, a sleep machine or something you use at night, you've got a place to put it or just plug it in your phone to charge it up. And again, you've got good storage throughout here. I like the fact that they're open all the way through because it makes it easier to get longer items in there. Up underneath too, you've got switches for your lights. Uh, you can turn things on and off when you're laying in the bed. And then as we get all the way back, we have our stackable washer and dryer here. with another full pull-out drawer. This is your wardrobe closet. And uh, back in there we've got a cushion. That's the one that goes in the dinette when you make it into a bed. Looks like there's some rugs there they provide for you. And again, you have six or five more of these pull-out drawers for extra storage. Okay, once again, this is a 2022 Superstar 3727. Now, uh, we're currently taking orders for the 23 models, 
And any of you that have been shopping know the limited supply of chassis. One of the limiting factors this year is generators. There just aren't enough to go around. So uh, I would encourage you to call if you have any questions on one of these or you want to uh, possibly get an order in so you can have something late in the year or maybe by uh, next spring. Let me give you my contact information here. Again, my name's Mark Love. This is the best way to call me is on my cell or text me if you want. 970-631-0083. But feel free to reach out to any of us. Uh, we try to show all of these as they come in, but there's really nothing in stock new to look at for the Super Cs. We do have a couple of used ones. So if you're interested, uh, give a call or, or go on our website. Uh, once again, thanks for tuning in, folks. Drive careful out there. Happy trails. Keep your stick on the ice, and we'll see you next time.